love it. Can you believe it? One of the things that can happen when you're fighting for those yards is you got to be smart and know when to get down. And so while you love to see him fighting for those yards, the last thing you can do is lose the football. And if he goes down, he's fine. He's, well, I think Barton actually gets his hand on the ball. Let's say no. It's another defender. It's Williams who came in there and punched the ball loose. Yeah, and then the ball's on the ground definitely before he touches. And then it's Sean Barton, one of the leaders of this defense, and ends up jumping on top of it. The way this second half has gone, you're just thinking, if you're an Oregon fan, let's just kill the clock. After the first down by Herbert on the run, you basically could take three knees and the game's over. You're right, though. The young back there fighting for yardage loses the ball. They're reviewing this. I don't think there's anything that's going to cause the call to be changed. Oregon, a 500-yard night, but a couple of crucial fumbles here in the second half. After review, the ruling of a fumble and a recovery by the defense is confirmed. So the first was an 80-yard scoop and score by Alfieri. This one, when the game was all but one, gives Stanford life from the 40. Little did Mario Cristobal know that that fight that Maria talked about that he showed his team would be so relevant to this game tonight with 51 seconds remaining. But maybe for the other side. <laughs>